What's up, bosses? Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. We've got a lot of awesome things in this week's show, like a rise in drivers trying to cheat the drug and alcohol clearinghouse, a fitness challenge for drivers, a master chef with skills in the kitchen and on the road, and results from GAT's virtual truck show. Now let's roll. Our friends Matt and Joey want to get something off their chest. Hey, hey, what do you think about this uh, autonomous truck crap? What are you talking about? The uh, trucks that drive themselves and stuff like that? Driverless trucks or whatever? Yeah, it's something I've seen where they got like a Volvo truck or something with like a thousand cameras on the outside of it and it's supposed to like drive itself from point A to point B, you know? Yeah, yeah, the thing about that though is, is like, it may be fine for like the highway or whatever, but how's it gonna navigate around like city traffic, city streets? How's it gonna bump the dock? How's it gonna, do you know, drop the landing gear and disconnect the hoses, you know? So, I, I don't know. I don't know. The whole thing with uh, having it on the highway, I mean, shh, I don't know. Shh. Bro, you almost sound like you're, uh, you're agreeing, you're for it, you know? I mean, the autonomous trucks are here to replace us. Bro, they're trying to get rid of us. They did it in all the other manufacturing plants around the world where they had robots take over people's manufacturing jobs, and now they're trying to take away our jobs as truck drivers. This is bro, bro, like I said, it may be fine for the highway if they can get all the bugs worked out of it, but you're still gonna need a driver to drop the trailer, disconnect hoses, lower landing gear. Uh, you're gonna need a driver to do a proper pre-trip. You're gonna need a driver to uh, navigate traffic and city streets and weather. There's just no way. There's no way they're gonna get rid of the driver uh, at 100% capacity. There's just no way. It, it, so don't worry about it. It's, we're not going anywhere. Not anytime soon, at least. Yeah, Mr. Optimistic over here. Oh, yeah. I want to hear how optimistic you sound when, when you got to go and get another job or uh, flipping burgers or some s***, you know, when they got Mr. Johnny Robot back here driving your truck. Bro, you need to just take a deep breath, calm the hell down because, whoa, just wow. Nah, bro, we need to stand up and protest. We need to hit the streets and protest. No, 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 no more protests. 2020 has been enough with the protests, okay? Okay? Truckers' lives matter! Truckers' lives matter! Bro, just stop. Oh my God, bro. Really? 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 TLM? Truckers' lives matter? TLM? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Woo! Yeah, you're damn right, TLM. You're gonna see. You're gonna see. They're gonna have to pull me out of this truck. They're gonna have to pull my dead body out of this truck. Ah, tell you right now. <laughs> Autonomous trucks. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Don't forget the only place you can find this dynamic duo is right here on the Truck Boss Show, so be sure to hit that follow and subscribe button. Now let's jump up straight over to our girl Lisella who has the 411 on a fitness challenge for all you drivers out there. Carlin, staying healthy and fit is something we say our resolution will be every year. But how many of us actually stick to it? For myself, I can say not as much as I should. Our friend Bob Perry of CDL Meals has announced a pretty awesome six weeks challenge called Fittest Driver Contest. The cool thing about it, it's a virtual fitness challenge that has no cost or purchase required to enter. It will start August the 3rd through September the 12th. Strength and condition will be tested with different divisions. There will also be prizes for first, second, third, fourth, and even fifth place. Doesn't matter, male or female can join. Each week, I'll be giving them a tip on things that they can do to help increase their strength and opportunity to hopefully you know, place. We have five places that they can win from, gifts and prizes. And um, so we think it's going to be pretty fun. So get going on some push-ups and start working on your planks because this fitness challenge is going to get you on the road to better health. 
If you feel you got what it takes, then make sure you click on the link below to register and to get the complete 411 on this challenge. Carlin, back to you. Thanks, Isela. The FMCSA's Drug and Alcohol Clearinghouse found some rather unflattering new information. Close to 15% of participants have been found to be attempting to cheat the urine analysis drug test. And experts are saying these high numbers may lead to more calls for hair follicle testing. But that could take some time, especially since the long-awaited guidelines for testing were sent to the White House last year and haven't been approved yet. And if it is approved, rolling it out would take several, several years. Now, the rest of the data released by the FMCSA earlier this month shows that there have been roughly 26,000 drug and alcohol violations, meaning that by the end of the year, an estimated 50,000 drivers will be disqualified for their violations. But industry experts expect that those drivers will be replaced relatively quickly. Now, Isela, let's talk about GATS. It would be almost that time again for everyone to pack up and head to Dallas, Texas for the Great American Truck Show. But as you know, you don't have to because GATS is going virtual. They announced a while back the show would be virtual so you could actually stay up to date by going to truckshow.com. Overdrive's GATS week is still on for August 24th through the 28th and it will be in the evenings just so you don't miss out. They're also still bringing all that great information like Overdrive's partners in business, Kevin Rutherford and Gary Bush, also Joe DiLorenzo on hours of service and small fleet champs including the famous Pride and Polish contest. So make sure you stay tuned for more info and to get more of that 411, don't forget to click that link below. Carlin? All right, Isela, check this out. A company recently launched a program to help their drivers with their family and partner relationships while on the road. Created by the nonprofit First Thing First and recruiting company Seat My Truck, the goal of My Trucker Life is to provide drivers and their families with information about parenting, dating and marital life, and how to deal with stress. You can find a link to the website in the comments below, so be sure to check it out and let us know what you think. Now, Isela, what else do you have for him this week? You already know when it comes to food, I'm that girl who never says no. Well, I haven't tried his food yet, but I know I will pretty soon. I had the opportunity to visit with a very talented gentleman. Not only has he served our country and is part of our road heroes, this gentleman is also an amazing chef. Let's go with our guy, that master chef, Travis Griffith. Travis, welcome to the Truck Boss Show. Hey, thanks for having me. I had to go check you out on your Instagram and I saw some amazing food. So tell me, what is this? You're a truck driver, but you're also a chef? Exactly. Were you already a chef and then decided to become a truck driver or was it the other way around? Becoming a chef was a uh, kind of extracurricular activities when I was in the Air Force. Oh, look so at when you. I was, you was in the Air Force. When I was stationed out in McCord Air Force Base, Washington, I decided to enroll in a uh, culinary arts school. So that's what I did. And so then, <laughs> how do you become a truck driver? Well, that's part of what I did in the Air Force also. <laughs> oh, well, look at you. Got all kinds of talents. By the way, thank you for everything, for all your service. And of course, for being a road hero as well. Because, oh, thank you, you. Know, you guys are kicking butt out there right now, especially with this pandemic that's going on. Now, the meals that you have, are you uh, are these some of the meals that you make in your cab? Or is it something that you do once you're like off the clock and you're at home? That or whatever I have, I have on Instagram has been made in my cab or on my grill outside of my cab. Now, are you posting some of this stuff also like on YouTube? Do you have a, like a YouTube channel to where people can- Yes, I do. How can uh, like... My YouTube is also that master chef trucking. But has it been difficult for you um, at the same time as trying to do trucking? No, because I've got to eat sometime, you know? Well, like my meals take maybe an hour to prepare and cook, so. It's not that much of a, much out of my day. So what is it that you use to make your meals with when you're ever, whenever you're in your cab? I've got a air fryer, a Road Pro Roaster, Gillet. I've got a wok. I've got an actual uh, sterno stove or a smoker. I carry my pit boss. It's one of my favorite things to carry. Oh, so you have <laughs> a pit boss. Okay, so you be hooking it up right. in all kinds of ways. So, so truck driver, chef, and you also cater to events if, you know, if people need you to. Yeah, if it's needed. Now, are some of your meals healthy? Well, yes, I do. Most of my meals are actually healthy because I try to stay away from fried foods. But if I do fry something, it's going to be air fried. Air fried. That's pretty smart. Right. I have one of those and I love it. <laughs> oh, yes. Air fried or pressure cooked. It's amazing. So what are one of your favorite meals that you like to um, that you like to make? For today's meal, I have beef back ribs that I'm going to be putting on the grill. One of my favorite meals. Do you have like a secret ingredient or recipe that you use with your ribs? You don't need anything else except for uh, 
this Jane's crazy mixed up uh, salt. And that's what gives it the flavor. So you're going to throw those in your smoker. Is that going to be in your pit boss? And they're going to sit there and. Oh, that's going on the pit boss grill. And how long does that normally take for you? Get a good smoke off of it. So about 30 to 45 minutes. I can say here from the truck boss show, we do appreciate, you know, everything you've done for your service. And also again, you know, um, everything that you're doing out on the road, we could not do it with, you know, we couldn't have what we have if it wasn't for you guys. So you guys are, are kicking butt out there. So, and I can just say that we look forward to all those tasty meals. Um, <laughs> Thank you. are going to make us very hungry. <laughs> Hey, that's the point. <laughs> well, Travis, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to visit with us here on the show. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again. So amazing food from our friend Travis Griffin. Um, you already know that I'm ready to try his food. Yeah, Can't you need wait. to come here and you need to cook for us because we are ready to chow down. And we're not going to turn it down. I promise you that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we're going to be best friends now from now on. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do for Isela, feed her. She's good to go. That's it. <laughs> and th tomorrow, be sure to tune in for our extra. Nikki is setting down with E-Road. You should know a, a little bit about them already. They are an ELD manufacturer. She's going to be talking about their company, the ELDs that they make, uh, they create, all that fun stuff. So be sure to tune in tomorrow for that. And then next week, we got another full show planned for you already. We're actually going to be talking with Central Tech. They are a driving school based here in Oklahoma. This is going to be part one of our three-part series with them. So be sure to tune in. Yes, and we're also going to be visiting with Emily Solabies, and she's going to be talking about her Juno Jones shoes for all you women that are out there in the industry. Yeah, I was going to say, she is a impressive woman. She's not working, you know, not one job, but two, and she's making these awesome shoes, so be sure to tune in for that as well. And don't forget about our monthly giveaway. We are actually starting next week. We are giving away a Boss Box, so it's just going to be another one of those prize or gear filled boxes that we gave away you never last know. month. Yeah, so. you never know what we're going to hook you up with. We're always looking forward to hooking you up because we appreciate you. That's just a way to show appreciation exactly. and some love for our followers and our viewers. So thank exactly. you. So be sure to tune in next week to find out how you can win. We will be going uh, live on Facebook with that information. So be sure to hit that follow and subscribe button so you get notifications when we go live because you won't want to miss this. Yep. Anisela, why do we do this? Because you're the boss.